Here we have a Westinghouse N28 circuit breaker rated at 8 amps, 250 volts, and the mechanism's failed. You can see here there's a copper braid which is not connected to anything, and that's the uh, reason for the fault. It was spot welded to the moving contact, but what's happened is that this particular circuit breaker has been used as an ordinary on-off switch and as the mechanism has repeatedly been used the copper braid is fractured it was never designed for this kind of service so what's happened is that the entire circuit current has flown up through that spring and with all the circuit current flowing through the spring which was never intended for that purpose it has overheated and lost its tension so hence the failure um, the circuit breaker is a thermal one uh, incoming current comes up through the lower terminal through the bimetallic strip trip mechanism through the copper braid the moving contact and then ultimately to the fixed contact and out the top terminal so normally the contact would be like that when the circuit breaker is operating. Um, I might be able to sort of demonstrate the, the trip mechanism uh, if I just latch this into here and put, apply some pressure there so as it heats up this arm bends because this is bimetallic and it lets go like that and that contact disconnects and springs down here. There's also this little um, arc quenching uh, duct, if you like, which sits in there. And it's got, um, what, five uh, metal veins in there which act to deflect the arc and control it because when the circuit breaker trips, there can be a very high fault current and that basically generates a small explosion so and like any explosion pressure builds up it has to be released uh, otherwise the whole circuit break would blow up so you've got this ducting channel down here to let the uh, gases out so the moral of the story is uh, don't use a circuit breaker as an on off switch use a separate switch and keep the circuit breaker as a fault protection device